Oh yeah, that's right. It's episode 19 of Show Us Your Humvee. In Show Us Your Humvee, we feed your Humvee fix with Humvees from around the world. The purpose of this series is to give you a deeper look into cool Humvees than you would get from a few pictures on social media. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of our weekly episodes. We'll start off this week in Phoenix, Arizona, where Chris is selling this thoroughly customized Humvee. It's a 2008 M1123 showing 2,300 miles. It has the standard 6.5 liter diesel motor with the 4L80E four-speed automatic transmission. It's wearing an all-new aluminum top, aluminum doors, new 20-inch wheels with 37-inch tires, custom front brush guard, a windshield light bar, rear light bar, and rear custom bumper. It's got all-new LED lights, rear and backup camera, emergency lights all around, and it's wrapped in gunmetal gray Raptor liner. The inside features Dynamat, carpet, custom diamond stitched headliner door panels and seats, and much more. This is one of the most unique and expensive Humvee conversions we've seen. Leave a comment and let us know what you think. Next, we jet across the U.S. to Long Island, New York, where Jason, who has a jet, actually drove to visit John and show us his ride. If you appreciate Humvees closer to their original military state, then this two-man Woodland Camo 1989 M998 should really appeal to you. Things I noticed were upgraded LED headlights, backup camera and monitor, and an artfully suspended mask. John ain't afraid of the elements. He don't need no stinking doors. I don't know about you, but I'm loving this Humvee that looks almost identical to my very first Humvee, the original Battle Wagon. We'll wrap up this week's episode at a certain storage lot down south where Steve and Pete with Delta One Solutions were picking up a Humvee, stumbled on what will become Gear Report's third Humvee. We found her. The Battle Wagon 3. Way down yonder, all the way back. Leave a comment if you see anything in the video that will help me prepare to bring this M1165A1 home. I tell Pete when she's going to be in a video. Okay. We're looking to figure out why the covers are off the river. And this is always there. Light back in the view. Covers are not in the back of the truck. The exhaust pipe is there. Dog house is there. Even electric brackets for your fire extinguisher kit. Kind of weird. Photo sensors are there as well. Dimmer switch. The green start control box. Let's put this dog cover back on for him, so the dog house back on so you don't lose it. Alright, we see your dog house kind of on there so if you don't come off. Stuff this plastic piece wedgie back in here behind the rear seats so you don't lose that. All in all, pretty good looking truck, man. 
Pop the hood. Gear's broken, obviously. Missing a belt. Yeah, missing a belt. I don't know if you need to know what generator this is. Also, I'm completely torn on how to build this truck. I've fallen in love with the open and accessible GMV concept and love that look and practicality. But this truck will travel to firearms industry events and needs to be able to be locked up tight. It's pretty good, man. Tank's here. We're we'll going to put this in the back seat in the floor. Tank looks good, still holding fluid. Just need a new motor to cut the wires to it. Leave a comment and let me know what you would do with this truck if it were yours. What's that, Pete? Well, so they got to do it to get the belt off, yeah? The GFD is disconnected to get the belt off. Right. Usually what they do. Yeah, man. Tires look damn good. The stack, stack looks clean. What's the oil look like? See, you got fuel lines cut here. I don't know why you got fuel lines cut, but there's fuel lines cut, so probably gonna have an issue with the fuel. A little dark, man. Need some fresh oil. Oh, not too bad. It's not bad at all. The dipstick's kind of dark. Yeah, for some reason you got fuel lines cut. And there's a fuel line laying in the back by the doghouse. So maybe they connect to each other. I don't know. Maybe they're trying to get fuel up to the top to see if you could get it to fire. I'm not sure. Maybe Mike can do something about that. That's it, brother. A few weeks ago, Michael Vaden from Black Dog Customs also found the Battle Wagon 3 on the same auction storage lot. Well, here you go, Jeff. He spent a few minutes and figured out that the engine-driven fuel lift pump was bad. So he hooked a diesel can directly up to the injection pump and was able to make her run. Man, that's a beautiful sound. Thanks, Mikey. There she is. Let us know if you have any questions in the comments. A big thanks to our patrons for helping us bring you more unbiased, hands-on reviews. If you want your Humvee to be featured in Show Us Your Humvee, then send me an email with landscape-oriented pictures or a link to download video of you doing cool stuff in your Humvee, and I'll put it here on Show Us Your Humvee. If you've already sent in pictures or video for Show Us Your Humvee and you still haven't been featured, don't worry. You will be featured soon in the upcoming weeks. I'm just going through the videos in the order that they came in. Thank you very much, and we'll see you at the range. Mm -hmm.